Yo, 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 Soup Squad! Nimbo Soup here bringing you yet another video. This time, I'll be reviewing the free battle pass vehicle, the J26 David. David, 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 David. Why is it called this? I'm just gonna call it David because it's funny. From what I've heard and can tell for myself, this plane is very similar, if not the exact same as, the P-51C in the American tech tree. Overall, do I think it's worth grinding for? That depends. If you want to hear the answer, keep watching. I'll talk about its good and bad features, a couple of different ways I play it, and of course, ultimately, whether or not you should grind it out for yourself. Without further ado, let's get into the video. As I said earlier, David is pretty much identical to the P-51C in the American tech tree. I have not been able to tell any major differences between the two in my 12 hour test drive, if you're unfamiliar with the P-51C, let me give you a rundown on how David performs. It should be utilized mostly as a boom and zoomer. You're too fast compared to other planes at this BR to not utilize it as such. This being said, I've noticed that especially compared to other Mustangs in the game, of course aside from the P-51H, it is actually decent at energy fighting. But generally, if you're going to enter into a dogfight, you want to have the energy advantage to start. Your climb rate, engine performance, and energy retention, while not bad, are also not the best. With this in mind, you'll want to exit any said dogfight sooner rather than later. Try to take care of your target early in order to not bleed all your energy on just one person. Again, you won't have to worry about any of this stuff if you just <coughs> side climb and boom and zoom people. In my eyes, there's a couple of different methods to side climb with, one being less boring. I'll explain those later. I see this plane as somewhat of a jack-of-all-trades vehicle. It isn't the best at anything, but it really isn't bad at anything either. As long as you're not doing the obviously dumb things like trying to turn with a zero or climb with an XP-50, you can find some success. There is definitely one negative thing about this plane though that I think is worth mentioning after a 12 hour test drive of playing it. The armament. Of course, they're easy to aim and good for head-ons because they're high velocity, but besides my personal preference for nose-mounted guns, the 50 cals just do not seem to do a lot of damage to me. I'm not sure if it's because there's only 4 of them or what, but you're gonna need a decent amount of time on target to get most of your kills. Whenever I'm shooting at someone, I basically have to just hope for a fire, and it seems these 50s just don't light as many fires as they used to. Again, maybe it's because there's only 4 of them. I'd recommend using universal belts. After a lot of matches of testing, they seem to be the lesser of all evils as far as belt choices go. You can disagree, it's just what works best for me, so go ahead and comment your hatred for me away, I still won't care. Still, these guns, no matter which belts you use, are underwhelming from my experience. As far as the negatives go though, that's about the only serious one that I can think of. Oh, and of course, obligatory faces XP-50s and gets wrecked. But what doesn't, you already knew that. David is one of those planes where the more patience you have, the more successful you'll be. Translation, the more you side climb, the more kills you'll get. The optimal climb speed for David is somewhere around 285 kilometers an hour. This gives me two ways that I tend to play this plane. The first is if I'm feeling in a serious mood and want to win. I'll side climb very hard, ensuring I'm not going to be near anyone for a while. I won't turn into the action until I'm at least at 5,000 meters, and I'll keep climbing until I see someone to go for. The point is to be 100% sure you'll be above anyone you encounter. Of course, again, barring XP-50s, let's just pretend those don't exist for the sake of this video. I can just never seem to get above them no matter how hard I side climb. I digress. Set yourself up at the start of the match so that you're higher than anyone else. Slap on a Nimbo Soup video while you side climb or something. Then it's just a simple matter of booming and zooming everyone left in the lobby. Either there will be a lot of people for you to boom and zoom and you're gonna have to carry hard, or your team will take care of it before you even get the chance to see anyone. Either way, you have a better chance at winning if you side climb very hard. But I did say there was two ways to play it. The other way, honestly, unfortunately my preferred way because I have no attention span, is to only side climb a little bit. <laughs> you thought you were going to get out of side climbing? Nope. Anyways, go off to the side so that you're not the first person to encounter enemies. Get as much altitude as you have the patience for, then turn in. 
head on planes above you, or boom and zoom any planes lower than you and help out your teammates. You might get a few kills if you can manage to make the guns do damage, unlike me, but you probably won't be winning for your team. Keep in mind, if you start it quick enough, you can just dive away and outspeed most people chasing you. Don't try to do that against a P-47. <coughs> all in all, the more energy you have, the more likely you are to succeed in this plane. So try to side climb as much as you can to build up the most energy. But I don't blame you if you'd rather only side climb for a little bit, turning in before your entire team dies or the game is over. Regardless of what you do, try to keep your energy. Is it worth grinding the battle pass for? Well, if you don't have low tier Swedish air unlocked yet, and you could use a plane to grind it in, I'd say it definitely is worth getting. If you already have Swedish air researched, and you just want to play something quirky or unique, I'd say it's not. At the same time though, it can never hurt to just grind the battle pass in the background, slowly but surely, and get it anyways. Obviously, the P-51C already exists in the American tech tree, which I'd argue is more worth grinding if you're choosing between the two. America is more diverse and more of a meta tech tree. There is one argument to be made for this aircraft, though, which is the modifier it receives. Although somewhat of an average modifier for a premium at its tier, it is, of course, still a boosted premium modifier for SL and RP. But if you're looking for something to grind in, and you'd rather save time grinding the battle pass by spending a few bucks, just get the VL. I have a significantly easier and more fun time flying that plane than I do David, anyways. The guns actually do damage, plus the SL modifier is much better, so you get more utility out of it long term once you're done with that early Swedish grind. Do I use the SL modifier as an excuse to play the VL even though I have plenty of silver lions? Yes. Do I care? Nope. It's way too much fun. Sorry, rant over. David is one of those planes where the more effort you put in, the more reward you'll receive. It honestly is decent at energy fighting, but I just don't recommend this over gaining altitude and boom and zooming. If I had to say yay or nay overall to grinding the battle pass only for this vehicle, I'd say just do it in the background because why not? The plane doesn't really offer anything new or special except an average premium modifier for its tier, which is useful for grinding Sweden of course, but I'd have to recommend buying the VL to anyone to play for the sake of fun anyways, so if you don't mind dropping some dough, just buy it, or you know what, you can get it for free now through the Warbond shop, what am I saying? Yeah, you're welcome, see? It's free. Anyways, I'll shut up, thank you all for watching, drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing. You all know the deal, this is Nimbo Soup, Nimbo signing out. Oh, yeah, but stay tuned because I have this awesome dogfight with an XP50 that I want you guys to see. I feel like if I had a little bit more ammo, I might have been able to spray him out of the sky a little bit more, but I'm probably just coping saying that um, I was pretty lucky and happy to get saved by my teammates, so shout out to them, and shout out to this guy, honestly. It was a really nice fight. Um, he, he definitely should have won it. He definitely didn't play it properly, but it still looked cool, so I'm going to show you guys anyways. Here we go. Enjoy.